Hi, this is Les Hasbargan. This tutorial shows you how to use StreamStats, uh, an app by the USGS, to identify a watershed of interest to you. So um, first you need to go to uh, this link online, StreamStats, just type in StreamStats, you'll get there. And when you open it up, <coughs> you see uh, it will give you this little info window here latest news, etc. So it's worth looking over. Just go ahead and close that. So when you're ready to um, use this, first, uh, first off you need to zoom into an area. So we'll zoom into upstate New York and let's go ahead and zoom in to some area we're interested out here. So you should keep zooming in, at least to zoom level 15. Um, you're going to need to select the location. And once you do that, um, the state, you'll see a bunch of these blue lines appear. If you zoom out too much, they will disappear. But uh, <coughs> at zoom level 15, they should be there. And go to the location that you want to draw a watershed for. And this is going to be the outlet of the watershed. So. I want to delineate this one, so click delineate and then select the stream. It should tell you that your clicked point is valid and it will delineate your basin for you. And you just just have to wait until that runs for you. So what this does is it actually um, goes and, and looks at the topography and then routes water across that entire topographic area, finding the steepest descent path for each little particle of water that it drops on here. And then it outlines uh, all the, the contributing area to this point on our stream. And at this point, uh, you've got your watershed and it highlights it here in yellow. So we want to go ahead and continue. You can actually download the basin and it will download as a shape file that you can open into GIS. And then you need to tell it, well, what do I want here about my watershed? I want the bank full statistics and I would also like the peak flow statistics useful for estimating flood recurrence and I also want all of the basin characteristics and so I'm going to select all of those and you can see there's quite a list here of features that it will extract for you so now that we have selected all of those we can go ahead and continue and in a moment it will pull up a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, but um, a document that you can save with all of that information in it. And as you can see, it takes a little while to do this. So I will just, oh, looks like it's ready. So you can show the basin characteristics here and it will give you the parameters which can be kind of hard to interpret. But in the actual document that it creates, it will tell you what these are. This one right here is of interest for water budgets because it's the mean annual runoff for a watershed. It gives us the drainage area, which is the entire area here in square miles. <coughs> and those are all very important aspects of our watershed. And you can continue then and give your report a title if you would like, put some comments in there, and down at the bottom you can download, the, download your basin, download the comma separated value file, this is useful for putting it into a spreadsheet, and you can print it. And printing it typically either will print or you can change this and save it as a PDF. And that's how you use it. Um, and that concludes the tutorial.